Recreation Program Manager for the preserve. I've been here about seven years now. It's uh, 89,000 acre national preserve. You are inside a volcano right now. So there are three super volcanoes in the United States and this is one of them. What makes a super volcano? It's the way it erupts. So it's not like Mount Fuji where it's really tall. It's going to be kind of a, a rounder. It's not as tall. But basically there's a magma chamber below and it's going to eject the magma out. But instead of blowing the top off, it's actually just going to create little vents where it all comes out and it's going to create a hollow chamber. And in that hollow chamber, it doesn't support the ground above it and it collapses back in and creates this huge bowl. Think like Crater Lake, that kind of thing. So that's what you're going to see here. We're literally on the south rim. If you look behind you, that rim up there is the south rim of the volcano. You work your way to the east. So uh, if you look back over your shoulders this way, the hill, that, the tallest hill in the background there is the Parido Ski Hill on the other side of that to get you oriented to the south. Work your way around. We've got some domes in the middle here. And if you look where the sunlight is on the grass, you can kind of see a couple peaks come together and there's like a dark object in the back. That's the north rim of the volcano back there. So it's about 12 miles across, roughly. And it's 89,000 acres. It's roughly a square. 12 miles to square. To the north rim. Far as the green. Yes, sir. What are the other two super volcanoes? Uh, there's one in California and then uh, Yellowstone. I can't remember the name of the one in California. It's in northern, oh, north. Uh, yeah. What is it? I think it's Mammoth. A mammoth. So what you're looking at right now is called the Valle Grande. Uh, in terms of evolution of the place, once it made this big caldera, it was this big bowl, it became a lake. Okay. It was literally cool. And you can see it in the mornings out here after it rains, this will be covered in fog. You can see the real thing. Are, but that long stretch of mountain there, uh, that was the first resurgent dome that happened. And basically, we are a world type site for resurgent domes. So people come here to study because you can drive all around it and see it. If you go to Yellowstone, it's such a massive place, it's hard to get a grasp of it. But it's real easy to spend a couple hours here and get a real feel of the place.